Hello, my name is Gracious Junku. Do you know that kid? We all do. That strange one who sat alone at recess and chose to read a book at lunch growing up? Thinking back, I realized I was that kid in my younger years. Although this may seem cliche, it wasn't until recently that I discovered how different I was in my early childhood. To put things in perspective, I was short, a little bit on the plumpy side for my age, and I wore thin framed Barbie glasses that were crooked half of the time. Each hairstyle showcased my sizable Kenyan forehead. and My two front teeth appeared to be square dancing. Now that I've ditched my cartoon glasses and I no longer have crooked teeth, I find it humorous looking back and seeing how free spirited I was. For example, I have distinct memories of always eating my potato chips with the side of ketchup, no matter how many odd glances I received at lunchtime. The funny thing is, none of these things ever seemed to bother me. They shaped me into who I am today. Because I was an individual of such unique stature, I often did not have a steady group of friends. I started to live by a mentality that if people did not give me a seat at the table, I would bring a folding chair. As mentioned before, I am of Kenyan descent. Being African was not something I used to tell people freely. I remember wanting the classic blonde hair, blue eye appearance. It's no wonder I chose the Barbie glasses. At times, my race made me feel insignificant, as though I did not deserve a spot at the table. However, if I've learned one thing during my 15 trips around the sun, it's that you are only as small as you portray yourself. Taking that to heart, I started caring less about how people viewed me and more about who I wanted to become. This way of life resulted in me having close to no filter growing up. I was eager to learn new things and always voiced my opinions. I told myself that the world was my oyster and I did my best to ignore people who told me otherwise. With this newfound confidence, I tried activities I would not have tried otherwise. I was a cheerleader, took violin classes, service club, I was in an honor society, <laughs> you name it. Out of all extracurriculars I tried, basketball wins most comical. Picture this, a dark skinned girl, no taller than five feet, wearing a gym uniform twice her size, hobbling down a court with no sense of direction. Despite how ridiculous I may have appeared, it did not matter because I was finding myself. I was choosing to bring a folding chair. Trying new things enabled me to discover what I was and still am passionate about in life. Today, you can probably find me belting on a theater stage or leading my school as student body president. Without the mindset I established at a young age, I would not be where I am today. I suppose it all ends where it starts. In this case, with a question. Do you know that kid? We all know that kid. The one who discovered themselves early in life. We all know the individual who enjoyed staring at clouds during recess over conversation with peers. In reality, we all are that kid to some extent. We all, are we all are diverse beings who live by the mentality of bringing their folding chair to a crowded table.